God bless busy bees. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Another road close. I am driving to wash clothes because our um, washer and dryer, well, it was our washer that went. And then soon after that, the dryer went. I mean, they did a thing. We had them for about two years. But I'm going um, to wash a load of clothes this week. We should be getting our new washer and dryer. And everywhere I drive, there's a detour. They're fixing up my um, city where I live. And oh my gosh, every it, it's ridiculous. I just went down one area that said a detour. Turned up here and it's another detour. Like, where do they want you to go? It's absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Let me get myself together. Alrighty. I will have to plug back in because I got to figure this out. Alrighty. I am currently at the laundry mat. <sighs> Washing clothes. Something I do not want to do. But got to do it. Let me see if I can flip this. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. I just got from Walmart. I had to go get some groceries. And um, oh, I feel like I've been working out. And get my mom some water. Oh my gosh. So I went to a local place where we get our water from. And I'm there putting my money in the um, machine over and over again. Only to find out that the machine is out of order. The funny thing is... Usually when stuff like that happens, I might be like, okay, I'm not getting ready to go way back inside that building to get the little dollar and 50 cents. I said, the devil is a lie. I'm going to get my little dollar and 50 cents because you know what? It's my money. And a lot of times I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go through the trouble. And then when I'm low in funds, yes, a dollar and 50 cents is money. Okay. And then when you're low in funds, I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, yeah, a dollar and fifty, a dollar fifty. You know what it is? It's the thought that counts. I gotta open up these windows, and I'm on my way to my mom's house. Then I'll go home and finish this vlog. Oh my lord, y'all not praying for me the way you're supposed to. But guess what, y'all? I, I don't know if I told you I lost two pounds, and I know I lost more weight. I'm gonna um, weigh myself probably Friday. So off to mother's house we go. See ya. It's so funny. I just had this. Thing, um, so cl close, so close ah, to my face. I'm like, oh, I see all my necks. They're gonna be gone, y'all. I'm gonna lose this weight. <laughs> I just dropped my keys, but I'm here at my mom's house. I'm getting ready to grab her her water and her little special drinks and um, get on in here. So, yes, um, some kind of busy. I'll hopefully she got it together now. Let the uh, let you good people, folks, talk to my mama. All right. See you in a minute. Bye. No, not bye. See you in a minute. Okay, so we are leaving mom's house. <sighs> it's been a long day. And I cannot wait to get home to get to my office. We're eating a quick dinner tonight. So thank God I ain't going to be worried about cooking dinner we're just doing a quick chicken wrap and so on i got a meeting at church tonight from eight to nine so yeah we are getting ready to drive and i don't have a hands-free thing so oh my gosh i'm finally home hurried up and threw me some um what do you call it Pork chops left over, baked pork chops. Threw those in the oven. Can't eat them for the dogs being around me. I'm having just a little salad. Mm. I'm working on consistency. I do not feel like vlogging. I was up since about four this morning. And as you see, I was running around. So. Mm. I'm trying to get this camera right. 
What can I put it on? What can I put it on to make it? Hey, it is what it is. I don't want it to show my head like that. So I'm gonna put it together, B. Anyway, it just is what it is. Pork chop is banging. So yeah. Um, um, like I said, really just working on, oh. that's my son playing this game. <sighs> I am tired. Oh, excuse me, being, um, consistent, the dogs are right under me, so, and, um, sometimes when you got a lot to do, it's rough, but you gotta push through it. And you gotta do it because, like, literally, I said every Tuesday I was gonna um, upload the YouTube, this channel's information. So, with that being said, I'm being enticed to, because I also have to do my 30 minutes of writing and then also do some reading. So, I'm being enticed to go lay down, but I can't do that. Because I also have phone calls I have to make. I have to wash my hair and do my hair. And like I said, I have a meeting that I have to do at church. So, but you know what? It's all, it's all worth it. Little, stop yelling. I'm, I'm vlogging. <laughs> it's all worth it. Consistency is key. We have to, once we sign up to say we're going to do something, we have to keep, we got to keep doing it, you know, because if you don't, it's you, um, it makes it seem like you're lying, you know, I might not be perfect, but I sure ain't nobody's liar, so, yeah. So I was saying earlier, was I saying it earlier? Maybe I didn't, but okay. Let me just share this. And this will be where I'm going with this vlog. I had, um, mm, I love green olives. In the beginning of the year, I did a workshop. The workshop was planning for success. And then after I did that, I did um, a, what was it? Oh, I did an eight part session of an account accountability group. It was awesome. Um, I got a really good, really good feedback after it was finished, but when I was in my office one day, I'm looking at my notes and the material, and I'm saying, wow, this is good stuff. And I'm like, this is a book. So I was busy, so I didn't really get too much into that, but I picked it up and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so much good material. And then I thought, I was like, I gotta do something with this. So a couple of days later, I heard digital product, digital product. So I'm like, okay, so, I started creating a an ebook, and I'm excited. I'm like, ooh, did my research, what I need to do, but everything wasn't clear because you know, when you're on YouTube, you know, some people have those what's it called, clickbait. They say one thing, one thing, then when you go and watch that whole hour video, you find out. And people didn't give you that information. So what I did was I kept looking, kept looking. I never got discouraged, but what I did was I prayed and I asked God. I was like, God, help me. I need to know what to do with this information because now that I wrote the book, now what? So I was like, okay, never thank you, Lord. Praise and God in advance. I know it's going to work out. I don't know what to do, but it's going to work out. So I get a call from a young lady at about four o'clock in the morning. Please give me a call. So, I'm like, I'll call you. I'll call her. 
I sent her a text. I said, I'll call you at 9 a.m. Right? I messaged her that. Darrell, can you bring my laundry to my bedroom, please? Thank you. In my mornings, I like to get up, pray, have quiet time with God. I usually try not to make phone calls because, you know, folks, folks will rub you the wrong, wrong way when you have not had time with Jesus. So I was like, I already know I got to spend some time with the Lord. So I got up, did my Bible study, had my little coffee, had my Jesus time. Then I called her and um, it cracked me up because while I'm trying to call her, I didn't know what social media platform she had uh, messaged me from. So it took me like an hour. Finally, I persevered. Let me say this. Because in a way, I was thinking, maybe I shouldn't reach out to her. But I was like, no, no, no. I felt the unction. Reach out to her. Because even when I'm going back to the prayer... I was like, God, you got to send somebody. Somebody got to help me. And, honey, let me tell you this something. When you pray and you ask God for something, all you have to do is believe it, and it's finished. God is amazing. Let me say that. She was such a blessing. As I was talking to her, she was giving me so much information. As far, The first thing she said was, do you have any digital product? <laughs> Didn't I tell you, when you ask God for something, he will work it out. So, honey, that's not even it. That's not even it. As I'm talking to her, the conversation was so good. She was talking, we're talking about the spirit of poverty. We're talking about abundance. She tells me she's an abundant mindset coach. Amazing. Those words just sound great, right? Abundance. Mindset coach, right? So I was just like, amen. You know, one thing I, I must say about a life coach, we're not saying manifest nothing. But what we are saying is, child, you need to do the work. You ain't going to wallow all Zam stuff into existence. That That's even with being a Christian. It's not magic. You're praying and you're asking God. And when you trust God, if God said, because he ain't going to give you everything. It has to be his will. I mean, think about it. As a parent, would you give your kids everything? I love the way my bishop said. Would you give your child your keys to the car just because they say they want to drive and they ain't ready? No, ma'am. Mm-mm. So... Back to this awesome woman of God. We start talking about the goodness of God. And she tells me. I was supposed to. She said you dropped in my spirit like four days ago. Yeah I heard what I said. I had prayed. Like four days. Before she called. So. It must have been around the time I prayed that God allowed me to drop in her spirit. I just love God. I love him so much because he knows what you need. And every business that I do, I want God in it. Even the party venue. People are partying and enjoying themselves. That's them. We rent it out. That's it. Um, 
the decorating part of it, same thing. Everything I want God to be a part of, you know, because he knows what's best. He knows what's best. So as we're going into this uh, digital products, I'm excited about it. But I, I'm just so grateful that God will send somebody who knows. Oh, excuse me. That's that salad. Who knows about digital product? One thing I must say about me is if I don't know, it might take me a while. Um, but I'll research it and I will get the information that I need. Um, and like I said, it'll take me a while. But honey, if I need the information, I'll get it. But God has blessed me because like I said, when you go on YouTube, sometimes it's like clickbait. Um, people say, oh, you want to know how to create digital products and publish them? And then you get that information and you're like, what? This, you, mm, you clicked it. You said this, but then you never said that. So, and you waste time sometimes. So just like um, one of the young ladies that I follow on YouTube, um, you know, she's a cusser, but she's good. Um, she knows her stuff. And she has, um, she, I've never, I can never accuse her of clickbait. Peach McIntyre. Peaches, Peach McIntyre, one of them. And I cannot accuse her of clickbait because if she said this is what she's doing, she's giving you the information, honestly. That's what she gives you. Exactly what, she, you know, she's gonna, and I love buying her stuff because, um, her ebooks, because it's just packed with the information and it's straight to the point. You're not reading all of this stuff that is just book fillers. I hate book fillers. It's just information that doesn't even connect with the regular information. So I'm just, I just, God is good. And he, I'm excited about the Ignite Coach, the Life Coach. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the digital pros, uh, products. I'm excited about the courses that'll come because just talking to, I think we we stayed on the phone talking, she and I, for like close to three hours. I, I usually, and then it was just, it was God all the way because Mondays are my relaxed day. I'm not doing anything. I get up, take a shower and whatever. I think it's either clean my bathroom or clean the kitchen, one or the other. Because one of them's not gonna get clean. One of them will get clean, but one of them will not. And then, um, so he knew I was just chilling. I was actually gonna kinda get caught up on um, some reading and I wanted to watch a couple of movies, uh, shows that I missed um, last week. We don't never watch TV when this stuff comes on. Very rarely. We usually watch it and then we'll binge watch stuff. Because not only is my life busy, I mean, it's my son, Little Darrell, who's an artist who raps. It's my um, daughter, Shanice. She doesn't live here with us anymore, but she thinks she does. She won't give us her key back. She told me not to do anything with her room because she, <laughs> listen to this. She wants, because she's thinking about moving to North Carolina. So she says, if she moves to North Carolina, she wants her room the way it was. So when she comes back up here to visit, she'll have to stay in a hotel. What y'all think about that? <laughs> no, honey, that room has become a storage room, you know, where everything falls, falls. And, and uh, so I was like, you're, you're funny. But yeah, and then my daughter Trinity, and then my husband, Darrell. And then we have two lovely dogs. We have a bully named Beast and um, a, she's a Yorkie and what is she? Yorkie? She's I don't even know how she has three but she's a Yorkie Poodle and Chihuahua. And let me say this, that dang on Chihuahua won't shut up. She's always barking. Always barking. But um yeah, so I guess the the two main points, um, and 
I'm not teaching. I just want every entrepreneur out there to know that every mom, every entrepreneur, every, even if you really want to be an entrepreneur, I want you to know that it is possible. You can do it. I know you may have kids. See, that's Boston right there. You see? Why? Because somebody just walked by outside and she actually heard it. So she's barking. Now she's in the window. Tell me why. I, you know, the funny thing is I want to say, because she ain't going to do nothing. But yes, yeah, she was. Yes, yeah, she would. Because if she was outside, she would be biting that person or trying to nibble. She, I mean, she's small. But she will nibble you if she gets close enough to you. Mm. So anyway, um, so for, you know, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want whatever, you know, don't allow one thing in life. If you opened up a business and you, you know, that business is flourishing, start looking for, ask God, what's next, Lord? What's next? This business is popping. Everything is great. What should I be doing next? You know, seven streams. We should have at least seven streams of income. You know, don't be scared. Step out on faith and do it. You know, um, I'm grateful this young lady had, um, she just stirred up something in me. I am an Ignite coach, a life coach, Ignite. I love to ignite passion in people. And man, she stirred something in me. And I was just like, wow, thank you, Lord. Because she did to me what I usually do to people, you know, so I just pray that everybody that sees this um, vlog today, tomorrow, next week, I pray that it helps you do something big, do something um, that it seems like you cannot do. The Bible says faith without works is dead. A lot of times we have an idea and we don't work on it. We don't start moving and sometimes it's out of fear or we think I can't do that um or I need a team no you could do it you could do it I mean applying the word of God I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength you can do it you can do it you know so um that's it I think I'm done today because I need to I'm going to have to edit this. It's 1.30 now. I'm going to have to edit this. And then I have to start my dinner. And um, I'm actually going to start two dinners. Because tomorrow's Wednesday night. And I go to the party palace on Wednesday night for the support groups. Um, so I have to go there. I like to have my dinner done. Oh, my battery is about to die. So, yeah, I like to have my dinner done early on Saturday so I don't have a problem I can go there and when my family comes in because they're usually all gone by the time I come in uh, by the time I leave so when they come in dinner is done everything's good it's good baby it's, it's good it's good so I am going to definitely share this this vlog specifically with a couple of people that are on my mind I said this vlog I wasn't going to do like our other. We have a couple of YouTube channels in our family. And I usually send it out to everybody. I wasn't going to do that with this one. I want this one to grow organically. So I'm not sending it except my five, my um, four girl. Uh, four, no, I'm the fourth. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my, my four girlfriends. One of them is my cousin. So I said I'm going to send it to them because they're part of my pride. You know, how a lion has their crew. They're part of my pride. So... I'm going to send it to them. But other than that, one person was laid on my heart today. I don't know. I think she may be trying to start a business or whatever, but I know she has kids. But she has such a sweet spirit. And um, I don't know. She was just laid on my heart. God gives us stuff in part. He don't give it all to us, you know. So I'm going to just send it to her. And I hope it blesses her, you know. And I honestly hope this was a blessing to you all. Just chatting and, you know, dropping and kicking the ballistics. <laughs> Have a wonderful and blessed day. It's Tuesday, y'all. I'm praying for the rest of your week. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Blessings. Oh, hit like and subscribe. Now blessings. Blessings. <laughs>